Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode four of the Many Sides of Voice Actor Radio. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. This might be a really depressing episode. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Of course he is. Okay, here's my thing. Why didn't anybody else go up against him besides him? 
while he was handling him, somebody could have grabbed his phone. Uh, definitely deserve that. Okay.
Mm. She's only going to end it because what's her face is ending it too. Who definitely deserved that shit? Cause She's too sweet to do something like that. Mm -hmm.
was he? Just roll with it. Roll with it. Dad. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's the smart thing to do. So that people can see it. More so her talent. okay. <laughs> The fact that they also found his picture too. Ooh.
I mean, <laughs> due to the views and shit, like, oh. Well, um, it, it ended well. They still got to do their, continue with their radio show. That's the good thing about it. But they don't have to put on, like, a facade or an act anymore, which is good. They can just still predominantly be themselves and such. But now that we know the elephant in the room, that that was her dad and not, like, oh, hey, she's sleeping with a director to get a role. I mean, because, like... The, that's why I was like last week, I was like, that is a little weird to have someone, you know, be like, yeah, she's sleeping with someone to get the role. Because I, I, mean, I couldn't believe that. Because I was like, this girl seems a little too, um, not, it's not really confident, but she doesn't seem like the girl, excuse me, or the type of girl who would sleep with someone to get a role and such. They're... It's okay. At the end of the day, as we talked about last week, it is about how, like, how determined you're willing to get the role. Just as much as we talked about the situation of what is currently happening in Hollywood at this point, and with all these stories of what some of our favorite or former favorite celebrities have done to people who were normal, everyday people, making them into celebrities how all of that is coming back to haunt them. If that were to happen in this situation, then yeah, I, I think definitely she would have got canceled. But the fact is the, the guy who was doing the live stream for it and such that he technically gets canceled, but he also like his pictures now on social media. Um, they probably were going to write a dox this kid uh, to the point that they were probably showing up a whole bunch of his shit on social media and stuff. So I think for him, like, yeah, do I feel bad for him? A little bit of yes and a little bit of no because that is karma at the end of the day for him. But I don't we're, I don't think we're going to see this kid anymore. I pray to God we don't see him again. Um, if we do, it will probably be, like, one last moment before possibly because it is probably getting too bad and, you know, bullying and it's like that because it always happens. Nine out of ten, he might get homeschooled or he might go to a different school without in like a different region and such um but still he'll always be known for as the guy who tried to ruin her career and such but uh, i mean yeah this this was a very interesting type of episode with everything that got transpired how it was done the the outcome was interesting because yes i love the fact that they get to keep their jobs and they're continuing on with it because so many people tuned in to that live stream because imagine if no one really did. Um, Karma would have bite, bite, bit them in the ass and stuff. But I do love the fact that her dad came in and basically said she didn't get the role mainly due to the fact of she's my daughter. She earned the role and stuff. She didn't sleep with anybody to get the role. She practiced her damn self hard, uh, hard as much as she could to the point that he said, here's an audio, a whole freaking video of an audio listen that y'all can listen to to see why in the world she got the role. I think that's very interesting. It does really remind me of some other, like, <sighs> situations that have also happened <laughs> and such because the fact is, and I cannot believe I'm going to say this, the fact that, you know, us as, like, audience are um, fans of certain celebrities, whether it's, you know, um, versus Japan, Korea, or even um, psh, America in itself with anything in the entertainment industry, how it's really nuts how um, fans and maybe people who are not into, like, pop culture like me um, 
Let, well, let me take that back. <laughs> yeah. People who are not into pop culture I, I really like me. Because your girl is obsessed with pop culture and stuff. Um, but to say, like, I could say someone like my mom, who is not really into it, versus me. Um, I think, okay, so I cannot believe I'm about to bring this situation back up. Okay. So you remember a couple of years ago with, uh, I'm not even, okay, I'm going to say it like this. With the T-Swift situation and how... Um, Ish was coming out and the whole freaking country turned on her and it went from a we love this girl to we hate this girl fest. Um, but she still had like fans rallying around her and stuff and supporting her. It, it's so crazy still today that we're still seeing that with so many different celebrities and stuff where um, I think the situation of the girl who was in, um, I think the movie is Abigail. The main star who was in, like, the last two recent Scream movies up until the situation of what happened and such. Um, I think the company who does the Scream movies thought that the whole entire country was going to turn on this girl. And in the end, that didn't happen. Everybody rallied behind that girl with the fact that, you know, she supports, you know, the situation of that and saying that, you know, the situation that's happening here needs to stop while the company was like, oh, because we're promoting Scream, we don't want to talk about that. And I think that's really nuts because we still need to talk about it and such. But moral of the story is, yeah, you never really know what in the world could possibly happen where one minute the whole world is in love with you to the next minute the whole world fucking hates you. And you don't know how long it'll take to build like that, to rebuild that reputation that you got and such because one minute you can be America's freaking sweetheart or the world's biggest sweetheart to the the shit of the shit like no one gets a fuck about you and stuff and so it's really sad I just hope one day you know things will change but who never know who knows it could still be like that even 10 20 years from now but other than that guys that is my reaction review towards episode four of the many sides of voice actor radio if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next wednesday for episode five but until then i will see you guys all next time bye